Hey gang, has anyone been struggling with what do I wear today? Are you one that goes into your closet and you look and you look and you have a lot of items hanging there, but you still can't figure out what to wear? Well, I have an easy solution for you because one of the things that makes it very challenging to get ready in the morning is that you have an overflowing, overstuffed closet. So uh, stay with me because we're going to do, walk through a three-step closet purge. And then after that, then I'm going to give you some ways that I actually organize my items, you know, from hangers to how I fold things. So are you ready? Let's get going. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. This is Beth from Style at a Certain Age. And most of my YouTube videos focus on style tips. And today isn't a specific style tip on how to put an outfit together or modeling clothes. However, if you don't have a functioning closet, it's going to make it very challenging to put an amazing outfit together every day and step out the door in confidence. And that's why, you know, going back to the basics is so important. So I'm going to walk you through, as I mentioned, a three step closet purge. And I typically do this twice a year. The beginning of the year is always just kind of a wonderful time to kind of freshen things up. But I have two working closets and one is my spring summer closet and the other is a fall winter closet. But I do like to go through every season and then I go through item by item. And when I do that, I'm going to ask three questions. But before we get to those three questions, you do have to carve out a significant amount of time from your schedule to go through a closet purge. And I recommend between two and four hours. So whether it's in the afternoon or in the evening, definitely do that. And, and to make it as painless as possible, I, I just like kind of like to set the scene a little bit. And I always recommend to get a wonderful playlist together. I grew up in the 70s, uh, love the 70s. So I think it's just one of the, a very amazing decade of music. So whether it's Carly Simon, Joni Mitchell, Doobie Brothers, Steely Dan, Led Zeppelin, whatever trips your trigger, go put that playlist on. And then for me, I pour a very generous glass of Cabernet to kind of help me through the session. But if you like white wine, if you want a cocktail, uh, or a non-alcoholic beverage, whatever floats your boat, go do that. And then you're ready to ask the very first question. And the first question that I always ask is, does it fit? And I don't mean, does it fit six months from now or six months ago? Because let's face it, ladies, weight fluctuates. It's just a fact of life. And sometimes we need, you know, a little bit of a reboot, but you have to be answering, does it fit today? If it doesn't, then out it goes. The second question that you're going to ask with each item that you go through in your closet is, is it damaged? Does it perhaps have, uh, like what just happened to me recently, does it have a moth hole eaten out of it? And that was because I had forgotten to unwrap the cedar chip that was hanging in my closet and I was just so <laughs> amazed that a moth had come and eaten my gorgeous Italian cashmere sweater. And Mr. Style actually pointed out to me quite nicely that um, perhaps I didn't uh, unpackage that cedar chip because I swore up and down, why is the moth eating it when I, you know, when I've taken protection? Well, I had forgotten to unpackage the uh, cedar chip, so don't do that. But um, anyway, items do get damaged and so you just have to, to realize that and they also get worn out. Uh, but if it can be repaired, that's when a good tailor comes into play and that's when a good a shoe cobbler comes into play. But if it's damaged and it can't be repaired, out it goes. And the third and last question that you're going to ask when you're doing your closet purge is, have I worn it in the past year? Ah, if you have not worn it in the past year, and actually I just read this, um, Oprah has this amazing system where she actually takes all the hangers in her closet and she reverses them. And if you actually haven't worn an item, then you're never going to pull it out of your closet. And at the end of a year, you're going to see uh, those those uh, hangers blaring or glaring at you of what hasn't been worn. But you can do it however you however you would like it. <clears throat> I've never incorporated that in into my system, and, and I still just if I ask the question, have I worn it in the past year? Uh, it stays. If I haven't out it goes. Ruthless, I know, but this is a closet purge, ladies, and you want to get rid of all those items 
that you are not wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And once you've answered the three questions, then there are going to be three piles that you construct for those clothes that are going uh, out of your closet. And one is the rubbish pile. And that is pretty obvious. Those are all the items that have been damaged and can't be repaired. It has a hole in it. It uh, perhaps is, um, you know, the, you can't repair the zipper, uh, shoes that, you know, the, the heel is just so worn down. It's very obvious that those items are, are damaged. So that just goes in the rubbish pile, very, very easy, out they go. The second pile that you want to consider is one that you're going to donate. And those are items that maybe they're, they're a little dated, maybe they're just, um, uh, I'm trying to think what else, uh, or you know, maybe you're just feeling very, very generous uh, as far as, you know, supporting your local charity. But uh, whatever it is, you're going to create a second pile which you're going to donate. And there are so many wonderful organizations out there. I personally love Dress for Success and support that. That is an organization that helps women get back into the workforce by, you know, updating their resumes and helping them with uh, interview questions and helping them with their wardrobes and or, or perhaps there's a local charity that you like to support. Uh, whatever it is, there's so many worthy causes for you to donate your items to that will help somebody else. Sometimes it's a little bit easier knowing that your clothes are going to a good cause or going to a woman, uh, you know, it, that's going to enable them to uh, better themselves. And so uh, I kind of like, that's probably my biggest pile right there is my donate pile. But the third pile that you should consider is your sell pile. And those may just be uh, an item that you purchased, maybe you weren't able to take it back. You know, return policies are you know, very, very uh, different from, you know, from brand to brand. Um, maybe just a fashion mistake. So that could be a pile where you have uh, you could take it to a local consignment if you're lucky enough to have one in your city. I, you know, personally, I don't have one here in Athens, but there are a lot of amazing online companies now like ThreadUp where they'll send you a big bag and then you put everything in and you ship it off. It's very painless. It's very easy. And uh, so then you can actually maybe make a little bit of cash on some of those fashion mistakes. Now that you've gone through your closet and ruthlessly purge, and I mean ruthlessly because Let's face it, there are some amazing items in your closet that you might be loath to relinquish, and, and I have been there. That's, you know, your absolute favorite blazer, uh, but it has a little, you know, shiny sheen on it, uh, and it just has to go. But you've, you've all done that, you answered the three questions, you made the three piles, and now you're left with all the items in your closet. So I'm just gonna go through, and so many of you, if you follow me over on uh, YouTube, you know that I've changed my venue. So I'm actually in my closet you know, slash office. So this is where I work as a, uh, as a style blogger and I have a very open room. Uh, we, you know, we've made some design choices so I can actually see everything that I have because I think that that's really, really key. Uh, so I don't have any doors. I just have uh, open storage, but, um, and I have, uh, if you want to see, and, and have me go through, you know, item by item. I have my blog linked up and I have a blog post that's related to this too, uh, that just shows you my desk and, you know, just all the nitty gritty of, of uh, my office. But the first thing when you go back into your closet, you want to categorize each and every item. And what I mean by that is you want to have all of your shirts together. You want to have all of your sweaters together. You want to have all of your jeans uh, together. I have a little photo bomber. I'm not sure if she's in the, I guess she's not in the photo. I wasn't really sure. Uh, so categorize everything by item. And then I'm going to have you take it one step further because you're going to color code it as well. So you're going to put all of your, you know, maybe your pinks and your reds together. You're going to put your purples together, your blues together, your greens together, your blacks together, your whites together. You get it. Okay. So categorize by item, then color code it. And then take it even one step further, and that is um, like with your dresses and your shirts. You're going to want to start with your sleeveless items first, then your then if you have a short sleeve item second, and then your long sleeve items third. And that way, it just gives you a really good visual of what you have at any given time. And the second closet hack or tip that I'm going to share with you is stack your foldables and what do i mean by that is 
Anything that you can fold, you're going to want to stack it one on top of the other. So that's usually for me, it's jeans, it's my sweaters, it's my scarves, and it's my lingerie. So first off, I'm going to show you how I do my jeans. So I just take my jeans, I just fold them in half. So I just, you know, take a pair, just fold it in half, and then I just stack one on top of the other, you know, every other way on my shelf. And uh, I think Mr. Style can get a close-up over here. And I do the same with my chinos and my uh, leather leggings. And then that way they're just very, very easy to see. And they don't, um, they're not going to be too creased and they're not going to be too wrinkled either. Another stackable for me, although many of you might like to hang your scarves. And if you have space to do that, go for it. But for me, I just prefer to fold my scarves up and stack them one on top of the other. And then I have a mesh drawer uh, where I can really kind of see them. And... Uh, that's where I keep all of my scarves. And there again, a stackable for me is a sweater. And I do keep them. I have a dresser where I have sweaters in my drawers. But I like a lot of them out where I can see them as well. So there again, I've color-coded them. i folded them up just like they do in a retail store. And then I just have them in stacks on a shelf. There again, where I can see them. But don't forget to unwrap that cedar strip and put it on your shelf. So you don't have... Moth balls visiting like I did. And the last of my stackables are my lingerie. And I sort those by color, uh, size, and style. So all of my bras are together, my panties are together, my uh, hosiery is all together. So it's, that's how I do it. And then I fold them up and I put them in. I've had these linen storage units uh, for at least 25 years. It was when, way back in the day when we lived in Houston, Texas, which I was, I think I was 30 when we moved there. Uh, so this is where I store all of my lingerie and then I just kind of tuck a really nicely scented linen sachet inside and then it really keeps my linen very, very fresh. And the next closet tip that I will share is how to store handbags and shoes. And handbags, many of them come in dust bags and I love dust bags and I have many in my dust bag, but sometimes out of sight, out of mind, <laughs> for me anyway. So I really do like to have most of my handbags where I can see exactly what they are. And so I have them stacked all along the perimeter of the room on, sh on shelves. And so that's how I store my handbags. Uh, there are some of my clutches that I actually uh, put in little boxes like this. And, um, but, and then if it helps you, you can like take a photo and put it on the outside of the box that this is exactly what you have in it. I do remember, I don't know why, but I do remember that I have my clutches and small handbags in there. So that's how I store my handbags. And then my shoes. Uh, so I just bought these inexpensive white bookcases last year and really love having all of my shoes readily accessible. And this is how I store them. So I do right shoe toe out, left shoe heel out. So this really helps me maximize my space. I can see them and um, I also categorize them. So I try to keep my pumps together. I also try to color, co color code them, uh, but it's just a, it's a fairly easy way for me then to see my shoes. So my pumps, my sandals, sneakers, booties, uh, you, you get the drill. And now that I've talked about how I organize most items in my closet, the next is very, very important. And who remembers the movie where um, a very famous actress came along and said, no wire hangers. Well, and they wrote this over on the blog. We don't have to be that obsessive, but it's a really good idea to upgrade your hangers from the ones that the dry cleaners give you, those wire hangers, because they, they do damage your clothes. They really, really do. And if you upgrade your uh, hangers, it really extends the life of your clothes. So uh, there's so many hangers out there. I personally prefer wood hangers. They take up more space in your closet, but that's just that's just me. That's just what I like. So there's a suit hanger where you can actually hang your pants and then your jacket on top. So if you want that, then there's just the, the plain wooden hanger where you can hang your, your dresses. Don't forget about, these are amazing. So these are for skirts and pants and they stack one on top of the other with this little hook right here. So don't forget skirt hangers. But if you are in the mood and sometimes, you know, your silk shirts uh, do really, really well with these velvet hangers and they really don't take up very much space. So upgrade your hangers. 
Well, I hope you can see how easy it really is to do a closet purge, even though it may take you one or two go rounds before you kind of get the, the hang of it. As I mentioned, I do this twice a year, and I really do go through, but before I switch out my closets, I go through, because you don't want to store anything uh, that, that doesn't fit, that you're not going to keep. And then you also, it gives you an opportunity after, you're, after you purge everything, then you can go repair those items that are uh, repairable, and then you want to wash everything and then store it then for the next season. So three easy steps, a couple of questions, or no, not a couple, three questions, and uh, voila, you're going to be done in no time at all. Happy cleaning, ladies, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.